I really asked the Lord if that was His purpose for me because I knew there was something more for me. People were allowed to confront me about certain issues and I wasn't expecting people to say the things that they did. When I got married, I knew that God's purpose for me and design was to be a mom. And so I sort of retired <laughs> from every form of work. And my husband was shocked because I was at the top of my career. But then when the children came, four of them came in five years. <laughs> so I was very busy with one kid after another. There are realities of becoming a mother and a wife and running a household that I did not anticipate. And I was just into wanting to go somewhere, disappear many times. One of the verses that my mom would always tell me growing up was, man looks at the outward appearance, but God looks at the heart. And I guess when I got into high school, I forgot about it. I always thought that I was like the cool kid, one of the cool kids and all of that. And um, I didn't realize that it was offending people already. And when I reached my third year, um, I joined a retreat in school. People were allowed to confront me about certain issues and I wasn't expecting people to say the things that they did. It was very humbling because when they ask me what I'm doing, I say I'm home, taking care of my kids. You're just home? I really asked the Lord if that was His purpose for me because I knew there was something more for me, that this was not it. And I remember receiving a confirmation in my heart that said, that is it. Now you make the most of what you have before you. It was on my 18th birthday also. Uh, we did a UNICEF outreach. My parents have always taught me to be grateful, but that was like, that was it that, that did it for me, that I saw these kids who didn't have much, but they're all so happy. And I was like, why do I complain? <laughs> why, what, what right do I have to complain when I have such a great loving family and I have things that I could honestly say I don't deserve and opportunities I don't deserve, and yet they're there. And so I had to really embrace that fact that there is a lot of value in the home. And when I realized that, that was it. I just started to write my journey and document everything that I experienced. And this was the beginning of my column in the Philippine Star, which jump-started a parenting foundation in our country. We cannot be a judge to like where we are at the moment where God places us if in our own understanding we don't feel we have to be there. But that could be where exactly God wants us to be so that we could achieve what He has planned for us. Last year we worked with iFight. It's a movement that um, these people work together to fight against human trafficking, and I was able to meet some of the girls. It was so humbling for, for them to be so happy. They performed for us. They, they put on this whole show for my brother's birthday. And I just, when, when we got into the car, I was trying so hard to just keep myself, you know, composed because I was with my brother and his fiance. But when I got home, I was just like, you know, it's really touching. It's, it's, it's like these girls have been through so much. They're probably like, some of them are 10 years younger than me. And they have been through 10 times more than I have. So that was, that was, that was it was tough, but you know, it, it helped me be humble. I think that family is so important to me because I didn't have one growing up. And I can't imagine having what I have now, if not for the Lord. I guess it's, it's safe to say that 
all of these talents are here for a reason. It's, it's one thing to just go out there and sing, but it's a completely different thing to touch life. That is my wish, that I am not remembered as a perfect mom or a career woman that's so successful or a wife devoted to her husband. I just was able to provide even just a taste of heaven. I feel like people who are prideful don't understand the bigger picture. And I feel like people who are humble understand what God is here and what He is doing for them. I'm Maricel Laksa Pangilina. I was once lost, but now I'm found. I'm Kiana Valenciano, and I was once in the darkness, but now I'm in the light.